Let's take a look at some of the new features in version 13. The first one we're going to look at is crop marks. I'm going to go ahead and turn crop marks on and we're going to take a look at a new feature called area. Now area differs from traditional crop marks which you set a distance from the edge of an image. Area allows you to create an area in which you want to stick an image in. And this is very helpful when you're creating things like greeting cards or art cards, um, things that uh, maybe don't have all the same aspect ratio, but you want to automate the process. So right here, I have an area I've defined as a 10 by 10 area. That's going to be my card. And what we're going to do is take a look at uh, how we place images uh, into that area, which will be defined by a crop mark. So one of the things we need to do is uh, set an image size because we're going to assume here that our images aren't all sized the same. So what I want to do is set a max width and a max height. And I'm going to set that to be uh, eight for the width and also eight by the height. Now, I do not have crop and zoom on, so I'm not going to size these images to eight by eight. I'm simply going to set a max width or a max height depending on the dimension of the image. So let's load an image here and we'll see when it comes in what that looks like. So it's a portrait style image, but you can see that it's centered within the crop mark, which is defined by the area of 10 by 10. So the height of this image is going to be a maximum of eight inches. And what we're going to do now is uh, load some other images that have varying sizes and aspect ratios to see how they get put into this eight by this 10 by 10 uh, area that we've defined. So there's a landscape image there. Uh, we'll load some more and we can see how they get placed inside. So now you can get an idea that by defining um, a area instead of a traditional crop mark, um, we can put the image inside this area instead of having to go back and change what distance we want from an edge from the edge of the image which would be different for every single image in order to get a card that was 10 by 10. now these features also work with cut it out so i'm going to turn cut it out on and we can see how the cut lines uh, turn purple um, inside the crop marks and that creates the cut lines for cut it out. I'm not going to go into detail with that. I'm going to have a separate video that shows how this all works with the uh, cut it out features. Um, but that's how uh, crop marks by area works. It's a very powerful feature and I hope everybody gets a lot of use out of it. The next feature we're going to take a look at is an image duplication feature. What you do is load an image uh, set up any parameters you want to, size it, crop it, color correction, whatever you're going to do to that image. And then with a hotkey, you can simply on a Mac use the option key and then any number on the keyboard for the number of duplicates you want. On Windows, that would be the Alt key. So again, make your sizing, anything you want to do, and then hold down that key plus the number on the keypad and you'll get that number of duplicates. The next feature to look at is swatch printing. Now the swatch uh, menu is going to be found in the smart crop window. So let's bring in an image and size it and then double click on that image to bring up the smart crop window. And what we're looking for is the middle tab, which is swatch one to one. This allows me to define my size. And in my case, I'm going to try to print a three by two uh, inch area. So I'm going to hit three for my width and two for my height, hit apply. And now that's going to give me my size on screen inside my area. And I can move that around the image now to the area that I want to test print. So I'll just move that around in the image and you can see that update on the screen as I move it around. Now, the, the real reason behind swatch printing is because with smart crop, uh, the general feature is going to always try to fit the image into a size. So it's kind of hard to get a one to one representation of the area that you want to print and swatch allows you to do that. The next feature we want to look at is also a smart crop feature. It's our mural calculator. Now this allows us to print in a size that's larger than the width of our printer. So 
and it also takes account for any overlap you have set in your preferences. So I'm going to set my overall width for this mural to be 71 inches and I'm going to set my overall height to be 60. Now this is based on the page size that you have set in image print and it's going to tell you the number of pages across and down you're going to need to fill that area. It's also going to show you your zoom factor, so your crop and zoom needed to fill that area so you can move that around before you select that into the uh, image print layout area. Now once that's in, you can see the image laid out across those number of pages and you can further move it to get the actual split where you want those panels to occur in the image. Now for your overlap, like I said, that is in your image print preferences where you set that. So I'll go to preferences here and show you. Um, and I have use overlap selected. And but if I were to toggle that off, you'll see the image change on the screen as it turns on and off that overlap. And once you have this set where you want, you simply hit print. It's going to send each of those panel pages into the queue to be printed. And it's as easy as that. The last feature we're going to look at is our new alignment guides. Now these guides can just be dragged from the ruler. So I just dragged this one from the side ruler and I'm going to drop it in place. And I'm going to drag another one from the top and I can see how it lines up on the ruler with a little red bar. And when I let go, it drops into that place. Now I'm going to load an image uh, into the layout window and I'm going to go ahead and uh, size that image. Uh, and then align it to those alignment guides. Now the alignment guides are great because um, as you're moving your image towards those guides, as you get really close to them, the image will automatically snap to those guides. And you can see as I let go here, it snapped into those guides. Um, and that's a really great tool. It helps just another way to get images positioned exactly where you want them on the screen. And you can load as many uh, guides as you want onto the layout window. I'm going to drag another one uh, onto the right hand side of the page uh, so that I can then uh, enlarge the image up against that guide. So I'm going to just grab the side of the image now and as I pull it to enlarge it, as I get to that guide, I can put it exactly on top of that guide and get it exactly where I want it to be. So alignment guides are just, again, another way to uh, position images on the page exactly where you want them. Now that's the uh, feature list of version 13 as it is right now. Uh, and as we always do, we add features as we get them done for the life of the version. So expect a lot more to come, uh, but enjoy the ones we have so far.